Hello, Nicholas here. Uh, I have received from uh, my Facebook a request for helping somebody f with their uh, accent. I think that is a very um, commendable uh, ambition because, you know, if you're working for, uh, say, in this guy's case, American company, and uh, you came across as uh, somebody who's worked in Chinatown for the longest time, no matter how educated you might be, um, the person who's listening to you does take a discount on what you're uh, trying to portray. So today I want to talk about a bit of how to hack a language. Um, ultimately, the only thing that stops you from learning a language well is simply time and the right methods. A lot of times the right methods are probably not the ones that you see in the market so much but uh, you need to hire people like myself who are linguists and who has gone through the trenches before if you're going through a landmine it is best somebody to who, uh, follow somebody who is who has gone through one before and then he can lead you through now in terms of learning languages uh, usually people say well kids can learn much faster or easier or what have you the only th advantage that kids have, in my opinion, is that they have a higher absorption rate. As an adult, we have better analytical st skills. So I usually ask people this question. Um, how long does it take for a child from, from the day that it is born till it is able to carry a conversation with you? And usually people say, well, maybe for four years time. Okay, well, what's the difference between that child and you? The only difference between that ch child and you is that from the day that it is born, um, it has a full-time caretaker to help him or her to learn the language full-time. The question is, if you have the same thing, would you be more advanced in terms of a conversation than a four-year-old child? And I think that, that is definitely a yes. A lower absorption rate means that you can do a lot of repetitions and um, you can use analysis to to overcome that for example if I'm teaching one of the hardest things to teach is prepositions and whatnot you can only, you can only explain so much to a child what in or over or under is until such time it is old enough to grasp those concepts and just simply won't get it but an adult having an existing language that means you can quickly understand that. But as an adult, we might think that is rather insignificant. And then we tend to want to uh, you know, hurry up and then what's the next thing we want to learn. In terms of another thing about kids is that uh, when they're learning ESL, a lot of times what, what is um, killing the kid's passion to learn a language, a lot of times uh, you know, kids does have a higher absorption rate, as I was saying, but they have a very low attention span. I think the most kids' uh, classes should be about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes at the max. And, but then, you know, we charge by the hour, and then their parents start to think, well, you're not putting in the full hour. And um, the kids get bored, and they get fidgety. And then, you know, it's all the adults or lack of insight that causes a lot of times the kids to lose interest in learning the language. I mean, kids, are, they just simply are intelligent and uh, maybe they're running around, maybe they are, um, you know, uh, squirming or what have you. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're not picking anything up or not learning. Um, you know, people have asked how I learned uh, English and, um, you know, I, to tell you the truth, I didn't remember a whole lot of what had happened because I was uh, immersed in, a, uh, in an environment. And um, the only thing I can say to people that I, you know, I, I watch a lot of cartoons and that watching a lot of cartoons or media that in itself help you help tune your ears uh, to the sounds. And uh, I actually did do an uh, analyzing of the sounds, which these days they call it uh, phonics. And uh, I didn't, I've never taken a phonics class phonics class I devised my own phonics so for example I remember I was um, having trouble with um, the sequence T I O N in English 
So for example, uh, Constitution, I, had, I, would have I had a lot of trouble seeing those type of uh, uh, sequences. And I broke it down. And then I go, it shin, it shin, and then I practice over and over again, again uh, repetition, till I get the cadence of how to say constitution, institution, composition, and things like that. And I, once I became a linguist, uh, I uh, understand on linguistic spaces uh, as to why most people can't uh, wrap their tongues around uh, saying um, words like those. Alrighty, I hope that helps.